Good morning. It is Thursday, August 19th, 2021, back here for Bed Talk 366. And today we're going to be talking about listening, but I want you to pay close attention to my words. I guess listen. We're going to talk about listening for impact. Now, I've done some research on this and, and you know, done some internet research and found that most of the time, in fact, Every time I could find, every instance where they were talking about listening for impact, there were two versions, the same two versions. One was listening for impact opportunities. So listening, so almost like, hey, we're looking for opportunities, we're listening for opportunities as well. So listening for impact opportunities. The other version is listening for impact in that when you listen well and when you're really present and when you uh, practice active listening, you create positive impact. So in other words, I'm listening and creating impact through my listening. What I didn't see is something that I think is such an important trait for everyone, particularly leaders, and we're all leaders, to develop and it's listening for impact in the sense that we're listening for the what's happening that could have an impact that's negative or unhealthy. That's something that I don't see that a lot of folks and a lot of leaders have really honed. I will sit in meetings and watch an interchange exchange and communication between people and at some point say, oh, wow, I can't believe he or she said that. And I found that a lot of people didn't hear or see it because there's times we don't focus enough on the impact that could be created through our communication. Something that seems innocuous, we don't think about it. So let me give you an everyday example. It involves the word, but. So thinking about in the workplace, you go to the person that's your leader, in quotes, you go to your manager with an idea or a solution. And they say something like, hey, that's a really good idea, but have you thought about this? Now, I'm not going to suggest that we should never have a but, but we need to remember that when we but people, it's easy for them to not feel heard and to feel dismissed. That's the reality. And so listening for impact is the outsider listening and also listening to yourself and saying, how might that create an impact that I don't intend because of how I said it, when I said it, what the context was. So we wanna to listen to experiences of others and listen for that impact and address it as best and as quickly as we can, but also listen ahead of time to what we're saying. And even in the moment, listen and say, be willing to call an oops, say, ah, you know what, let me take that back. Now we could talk and said, we've already done a, a bed talk about this idea that we need to let our people have their ideas. But that's just one example where it's a simple word, but but it can have a huge impact that's not healthy and not positive. So yes, listen for impact, those impact opportunities. Listen for impact because you create a positive impact through your listening. And also listen for the impact that you might be creating, intended or unintended, by what you say, why you, how you say it, and when, and the context in which you share it. So just another way to think about one of those sharp edges of leadership. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you, and by all means, stay connected.